made like a foreskin sandwich out of the foreskins that he gets from the babies at the hospital. And like, it wasn't that bad. He was it's on nutritious. MasterChef. It's it was good on, for you. He was on MasterChef. Mm. It's fucked up. Foreskin sandwich. Mm. And you can eat the umbilical cord period blood. That's pretty good. Are we live, Matt? Yeah, we are. Welcome to episode number 16 of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast, where we describe everything. Go. It's fully actual. It's actually full. It's full actual. Um, what happened over the weekend was, right, um, like oh. my um, girlfriend organized a surprise uh, boys night out, right, on fucking Saturday. A little surprise birthday party for Marty. And man, we had fun. We went out to dinner and we just got fucking, because we don't really drink much we went, anymore. We went back in time to the bar that I was not banned from, but kicked out. Sort of banned from you. The think. darts bar. The darts bar where I, I guess you could call it sexual harassment, harassment or s- assault. We got accused of sexual assault, but it was probably more harassment. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, just harassed someone sexually. You didn't yeah, assault it's not, them. It's not that bad. It's fine. But yeah, like, oh. so yeah, so probably about over a year ago, this bar, the short story, fucking long story short is I was trying to show my friend my asshole. In the toilets. <laughs> Which is what you do. We were excited. We just got a bag of cocaine. And so, we're running towards... I ran ahead to sort of... I, I thought he was behind me. And then, I quickly got down into all fours, pulled my pants down, <laughs> spread your asshole, as you do to sort of shock your friend. <laughs> and then, he's fucking not followed me. And the manager or what, some security, security, security bouncer... Walks in, sees Michael's asshole blaring back at him. Oh, he was... And I knew... I, I had this sense, like, as the door was open, I was like, what if it's not... Get out! Imagine. Get out! I was like, it wasn't, it wasn't meant for you. He must have it thought that you wanted, you wanted him to fuck you. Yeah, like real desperate. <laughs> oh, yuck. And I'm just like, no, it wasn't meant for you. <laughs> anyway, but, uh, they fucking hate me, okay? Yeah, it was but, a simple misunderstanding. But one of the girls there was like, I started a war. She thought I fucked everything. But she got fired. But anyway, la- uh, on the weekend, we went there, went out, got fucking, had a big night. And they didn't remember, they, they let us in. Yeah, well, she doesn't work there anymore. She literally got fired. Well, the others were pretty <laughs> upset too last time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where else did we go? But And then anyway, the next day, because oh. we're not used to fucking drinking. Man, that was like one of the worst hangovers I've ever had. You know when like you're lying down and you can't even get comfortable? You like, can't even- like, It's like lying down isn't a relief. Yeah, it's just you're in so much pain and you're just lying there and there's nothing you can do. I couldn't talk. Yeah, I couldn't decide on something to watch. I was too angry at everything. Oh, maybe I'm used to it, but I was the same. But I, I ate like some peanut butter rolls before I went to bed oh, and then yeah, no. slept till like 11 o'clock and I was fine. I can't sleep properly when I drink. Yeah, I was dude. up at like 8 a.m. starting to fucking get nauseous. Oh, it's the worst. It's yeah. the fucking worst. I think we got someone we can blame for our hangovers because one, one of the fans of the podcast saw us and his name's Cooper. Do you remember oh, okay. Cooper? I, we we oh, hung yeah, out after right. with Cooper. And Cooper Me bought and us Julian. shots. At Linglings. At Linglings, he bought us shots. Hey, and Cooper who, got us fucked up. Who got the bottle? Yeah, Ling, no, Ling, Ling, no, Linglings, no, Linglings ga- gave, us, gave a bottle. us a bottle. They gave us one. Yeah. yeah. Fucking thank you, Linglings. Yeah, fucking not too They're bad. They're really nice li- people. Lying in bed, though, that day, gagging all day, reminded me of- Remember when James- when one of our one of our best mates, we he's he's never really done drugs or anything before, and this is his first time doing um, edibles. Oh! And we um we gave him like Michael didn't know the dosages for this, and just just gave him a full serving, and I, we all had like a full serving, and then <laughs> I, I, like ten minutes in, I was like, "Whoa, these are really strong," and I started getting like worried for James because he's never done them before. And it's like the worst fucking feeling when you're greening out. Oh, like, it's like it's like it's hard not to panic, especially if it's the first time you've ever you think done you're edibles. Dying. Yeah, if you don't know the feeling, it can be beca- you can become quite uh, yeah, nauseous yeah. about it. And James, man, I, I still remember him just like at the peak of it. Like I was close to like I do. I was just lying there, just praying for it to pass. Couldn't really talk or do do much. And James, the poor fuck, was like crawling over to the side of the house and just power vomited everywhere. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, I do. And then Michael- Michael was fine. Ran over. played with it. Grabbed the fucking vomit 
and just picked it up like that and it was so stringy and it was just flopping back down and he's playing with it like it's fucking spaghetti a bowl of fucking cooked spaghetti just throwing it up like little tucks on it oh and I still remember our other mate Mono is just so shocked he's like oh oh <laughs> just couldn't fucking really? believe it yeah he- it was Vomit oh. or anything? No, no, no. The just, vomit was pretty chunky. I Shocking found to out. See. And James couldn't even go to work for like. Oh, he missed his plane. Yeah, because yeah. he couldn't get to the airport. Yeah. He kept throwing oh, up. That's right. The next day. <laughs> that was the next day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I found out that half the cookies were double the dose oh, a few days man. later. So you and James got the ones that and were double dose. Oh. And me and. Oh, man. Yeah. That, yeah, that was fucking shit. Like, I'm sensitive to edibles, and that was fucking intense tense yeah fuck sorry james and that's how it was on, su- on su- fucking sunday all day sunday <laughs> yeah it's it's so hard even monday i felt fuzzy i was like Ugh, i can't i have no motivation to do anything mm. yeah i'm still like anxious as fuck now it takes so long to get over fucking piss nights <laughs> no! oh. what else happened last week um what did we do last week like filming wise surely you did something disgusting did you fuck anything? Did you eat anything? Did you excrete anything? Ah? Uh? When did we... What the fuck did we film last week? We went to Sydney. What was the vlog? Oh, yeah, you did, you did oh, Sydney did we? trip. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, we went spoke fu- about that. So I think we did this yeah, podcast. Yeah, we, we came back from Sydney. Wow. Oh, yeah. So, we're, it's, we're only thinking from last Thursday onwards, cunt. So, what have we filmed this week is the real fucking question, you fucking cunt. We went and got our um. Oh, yeah, psychics. we did a psychic reading. For the, for, for the vlog coming out on the website, which reminds me. And we did a little experiment, which was oh, at, yeah. at what speed does a high five hurt? So, Michael got in his fucking car and I was standing on the side of the road with my arm stuck out, right? And Michael drive past at 20 k's an hour, 40 k's an hour, 60 k's an hour, all the way up to 110. And let me fucking tell you, that is fucking painful. Yeah, I didn't think it would be that bad. And the scariest part was seeing the car. Like, we're on a narrow street that's not... Like, we're not on a fucking highway. Yeah. Because I can't stand on a highway. So, we're on some shitty little street where you're not even meant to be speeding. And Michael's driving at me at 110 kilometers an hour and only needs to be like a meter away from me. So, if he fucked up then, I would have been fucking... All over the fucking floor, cunt. Yeah. I'm amazed you didn't dislocate your finger at that speed and I held it loose like held it there oh, and then okay. just let it on go the, on my at 50 k's an hour he kept it hard and it sna- snapped my arm back into the fucking car, car. almost like snapped it off imagine if the elbow popped out oh the that would have been way. good that would have been great that would have been viral <laughs> yes. so we fucking filmed that and um what else happened uh, we yeah that and the psychic and then we've just been fucking did you do it in the coin car yeah. yeah good yeah so that's coming out on for the vlog that's you're listening to this it just came out yesterday all right so that'll be out on the fucking website which reminds me this podcast is sponsored by our subscription website okay university of mark where we post weekly vlogs 20 to 30 minutes behind the scenes of all of our videos day-to-day lives blah 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 shit we can't post on social media blah 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 it's got like a hundred fucking 80 videos on there it's fucked yeah that's a lot they're all fucks cunt and you sign up it's free for 21 days you can see if you like it if you don't you can fuck right off and this podcast is sponsored by manscaped if you want 20 percent off male grooming stuff go to manscaped.com and use our discount code fully actual you get 20 percent off straight away Uh, so those are our sponsors and this is our podcast All right, <clears throat> without further ado, I have some diary entries to read out. <clears throat> Matt. Oh, also, shout out to Lockie, Easy Tiger. Easy, Easy Tiger. Oh, Easy yeah. Tiger. It's my ex, my f- ex-boyfriend. I forgot to wear it, but um, yeah, Easy Tiger. Little Lockie's got a fucking clothing brand out and you just know it's going to be good if Lockie's doing it. Yeah. What's the website? Is it just easytiger.com.au? Probably. You'd yeah. fucking hope so. Scott hey, his Instagram. Scott his Instagram. I can't find out. Can't. Two. 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 All right. <clears throat> All right, I've got some diary entries here and I've even... Uh, Michael sent me um, Julian's diary entry as well, yeah. so, which is exciting. 
because I haven't ever read one of Julian's diary entries. I can only imagine how intellectual and stimulating that will be. So I'm pretty excited. Julian's quite the academic. You wouldn't think it. Looking he at actually him. is deep down. He yeah. got an OP8. Yeah, and he's like, he's super, super logical thinker. Very, very smart. Doesn't ever act on emotion. Mm. Like, so polite. Anyway, we'll see. We'll yeah. see what's inside his mind. What truly lies inside his mind. <clears throat> but first, we'll get through uh, us three, of course. <sighs> Diary entry number 310 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. <laughs> I thought an animal had died in my bedroom, but I found out the bottle of piss under my bed just had started leaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking real, too. That's happened. <laughs> yeah, well, these are, what do you mean? Of course, these are real, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Diary entry number 176 from Marty. Went to the zoo by myself, spent like two hours watching the hippos. They were so sick. Totally going to come back again tomorrow. Yeah, I remember that. I remember going to the Australian Zoo and shit on my own. A fair, fair few. You love the zoo. Oh, man. The zoo Whenever is- we were overseas, if there was a zoo or something like something Animals? you'd never see in any other country, like a museum, like whatever. I think there was one in Barcelona. He decides to go to zoo every time. It's like <laughs> animals. Just get him. It's just so There's funny. There's a photo of him with a giraffe and it looks like- Something out of a cartoon. He's that it's happy. Just the animals he's are just feeding it leaves, and he's just like so happy. <laughs> the animals are just so funny, man. It's like, what the fuck are they doing, cunt? They're just standing there looking around, like, what are these cunts looking at, cunt? Yeah. And it's like we're looking at them, and they're looking at us, cunt. And it's like, what the fuck, cunt? It's just cunt staring at each other, cunt. It sounds like when you look well, at meerkats, they all just stare that's at what each other. You're looking at each other. They, fucking, they should open prisons up, to, like people come look at them. They'd make money. Yeah, 110%. Do you reckon that would work? I would fucking- like, Imagine like- I would like, go to that fucking prison and look at them all the time, my boy. <laughs> it's like, what do you want to see? Gang rape. What do you want to see? Like a yeah, shower I'll, scene. Give me, give me a look at see? all your murderers. Uh, a, a fucking fight in the yard. What do you want to see? Yeah. Um, what else happens in prison? Do you want to beat one of them up? Shank him. Do you want to get fucked by one cunt? All that. Matt? <clears throat> Diary entry. Number 1004 from Matthew Gregory Brown. (laughs) A breeze washes over my pink skin as I lay comfortably across my bed. (laughs) The summer air was teeming with life. (laughs) I slowly opened my eyes and admire my room. Everything was placed exactly where it should be. (laughs) Then I think my eyes are playing tricks on me as I notice my jar of fingernails had been rotated and moved slightly. I moved quickly over to it and confirmed that, yes, it had been touched. Someone had been in my room without my permission. I could only think of one cunt fucked enough to touch my precious jar of fingernails. My judgmental slut sister, Rhonda. I storm out of my room and into hers to confront her. Did you touch my fingernails? Rhonda turns on her computer chair, chewing gum. No freak, I didn't touch your gross fingernails. Don't lie to me! I hiss at her with all my might. She looks confused. I hiss again. (laughs) She finally breaks. Just stop hissing for fuck's sake. Yeah, I noticed that your fingernail collection had grown, so I just had a look to see if any of my fingernails were in there. It's not a big deal. Rage builds and my face reddens. I stomp my feet loudly and open my mouth as wide as I can, but while still baring my teeth, my sister lunges forwards and sticks her tongue into my open mouth. Within seconds, we were fucking. I throw my sister on her bed and start pounding her from behind. My flexible hips allow me to pull my brown right back and thrust forwards with great power. I climax and spill my brown mints into her core and retract my brown slowly. Next time, just ask if you want to look at my fingernail collection. I mumble as I leave. I look back one last time and see my sister scooping my mints out of her gash with a spoon and flicking it at the walls. I slam the door as hard as I can and sprint back to my room. Life is full of wonderful mystery. (laughs) Scooping it out with a fucking spoon. Your brown mints? Oh, I'm just a... Oh, man, that is... Where are you getting these from? (laughs) What do you mean, Matt? You write these. These are from your head, Matt. (laughs) They're real reality. Yeah, you have a sister named Rhonda? Ron. (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) Matt started getting messages from people telling him that he's fucked. 
because of these diary entries. <laughs> People think these are fucking... Clay. Anyway, anyway, that's the uh, diary entry there. Sorry, I fucked up the reading a fair bit. I've got to like practice it a hundred times. Yeah, well, there's a lot of weird words in there. Sorry. I like the way you roll your R's. I don't know how to do that. It's Germany. Uh, well, it's, can you give me one? It's Spanish. Uh, they started that shit. Uh, can you do thrust, it? Thrust. 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 Rust. I can't do it. Rust. You know what I, mean? I, I do a machine gun. I don't know how to do the R. Thrusting my cock. Thrusting. Thrusting. Thrust your cock. Thrusting. Thrust your cock. Thrusting. Thrust your cock. Thrusting. Is this right? Thrusting. No, you got thrusting your cock. Yeah, it sounds so Thru- better. It's like a raspberry. Thrust. I, I give up. Fuck that. You say it how you usually say it. You just. So it's, oh, so it's thrust, but I don't know how to thrust, <laughs> thrusting my cocks, thrust. Yeah, I can't do the little jiggle thingy that you do with the R's. <clears throat> There's no Julian Woods. Oh yeah, there is. Hang on, let me find it. Oh yeah, fucking nearly forgot about little bloody Yulia. Eh? All right, let's see what he's got. Diary entry number ninety-eight from Julian Tennyson Woods from Ashgrove. Yeah, g'day boys. Today we went on a big heist. We were running low on um, what's it called? Uh, meth. So me and my gang, the north side, west, south, west, case this joint near the skate park. We saw there was seven, um, what's it called? Uh, employees working and the boys got all scared on me. So I thought, fuck this shit and ran into the busy night owl and stole like four packets of chips and a can of solo and I fucked a chick. You Fed the boys all night so we had the energy to get back on it again. Hectic night. Oh, and I banged a chick on the train home too like in between the carriage thing in between like the compartments like do you, do you get what i mean yeah sick <laughs> <laughs> man julian's a little rascal that's two fucks in the space of one night that's not what i was expecting i thought that sounded like him though it sounded like 16 year old julian i'm just guessing well, he that. is like 16 he's Sorry. always he's a forever 16 year what old isn't he like 16 no nah. so He's got, yeah, he's 20. No, I don't believe, I, I honestly think that he's about 17, 18. He's 23 now. Fuck, I wish I was 23. You're 31. Your time is coming closer and closer. All of ours, we're middle aged men soon. Dude. Another, you know you're old when your fucking eyebrows dude, have to be shaved fuck, at the man? barber. In like six what? years, what? Yeah, we'll shit it is having long eyebrow hairs. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with you. That doesn't happen to me and dude, I'm older happen, than you. It will happen. It happens to anyone, everyone. I'm in the old it happens to everyone. And Matthew. fuck me. They look shit. I hate him. <sighs> anyway, what were you going to say? Um, fuck. I was just going to say that in a few years, we'll be in our late 30s. No, that's so far away. Uh, do you remember being young and thinking, fuck me, th- like 38 is so far away. 38 is just around the corner now for you. Oh, All right, moving on. What's next? I don't Man, like, before you know it, we'll be knocking on death's door. Can't You've ruined my day. Oh, I just want to be young. and We can't ignore it anymore. We can't ignore the fact that we're fucking old now. We aren't old in like 10 years. Yes. But now we are prime. If someone had asked 10 years ago, 21-year-old Michael, are you old now? You would have said, no, we're not old now. We'll be old in 10 years when we're 31. And now you're saying the same thing. And you're going to keep playing hide the ball when you get to 41. But I'm letting you know that you're fucked. I reckon old, old, old is 50. 40, something's happening. 30 is okay. 20 You're still young. You're learning. I think we can do this in the 40s, but 50s, we just got to give up. Actually, no, fuck it. I reckon the podcast will still go in our 50s, but- That'd be cool. All the the bodily functions starting to give (laughs) out. Michael can do a weekly update on his nappies. I can get back to pissing. Rogan's 55. He's still doing podcasts. Joe Rogan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, You can do podcasts until you're fucking 93, can't you? I think this will keep going. Oh, skin. But I don't know- are you playing with the skin? 
I don't know if you can see yourselves slapping each other with belts when you're 55. Oh, it'd leave interesting <laughs> it'd bruises, funny. that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched old men do that. Yeah, it'd, it'd be, be a fucking laugh. Dude, it'd be, the older we get, the funnier this shit will get. <laughs> but, but people will just think we have some sort of mental disability. Yeah, that's all right. That's, that is all right, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's so much dead skin on the table yeah, still from last week. We haven't week. cleaned it. Man. Last week, Donut got, Film sent that in. Man, last week got fucking out of control. There's our most viewed podcast though. Last week's, well, the in that in the space, space of time. So it's been like what three or four days, and it's already the the Ten most days. views out of any other video that's been posted in that four days. Come. Do you know, do you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's good yeah, to explain. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good to explain. And yeah. that's because fucking Michael shit in his pants and ate some skin. So, and smoke pubes. There was a few things. Oh, you did smoke pubes. How did I forget that? Yeah, yeah. yeah that snuck down the ladder. Nobody the commented it. Nobody commented anything about Michael smoking his own pubic pubes. hair. Did nobody There was a lot that? of shit going on. Like, I think Jackson wasn't too pleased. <laughs> He's leaving us soon. Yeah, we now he's, he's booked his flights to... Uh, I don't know if we can say yet. He's going to Rockhampton. Yeah, he's booked his flights somewhere. <laughs> and yeah, that's, he pretty much booked him straight after that podcast. While like, he was... Next time on. I spoke to him, he's like, I'm leaving Australia. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but we're going to go see him tomorrow and shake his hand. Yeah. Say, okay. See you, mate. Good on you, Cobber. No hard feelings, Bola. Something like that. Isn't yeah. that right? Lean in. I'll try and get a kiss. Yeah, okay. Huh. You want to see this? I'd love to have a look at what you've done here. So, Michael's got a face mask, okay? And he's just gollied into it. Um, so, now for the next person that wears this, I've pranked him. Matt, do you mind um, bringing me that bottle that's on that table there? The B-E-S-T-B. Really? I want to show them what Michael's been up to. So, Michael's gone... Uh, Michael's a bit of rogue science here. <laughs> And Michael likes to do little experiments on his own sometimes. Like, I'll come over in the morning and he's like got the fucking Bunsen burners out and he's got like all these tubes and shit and fucking like he's got f paddles, like electrical paddles and he's fucking starting his own ecosystems and shit, which is what this is. So this is its own ecosystem and it's growing. So this is a, for those of you who can't see, it's a, it's a clear bottle Should and it's a, this off? Oh, and it's about a third of the way full of a liquid with a, what texture, what, what would you say that stuff on top is like? Sort of like, I, a, I call it like, I call it gluten because it just sounds right, but I'm pretty sure it'd be closer to gelatin. It looks like white brain matter sort of floating on top. And what it is, is Michael's had a bit of a cough, right? So what it is, is Michael, every time he has a cough, he coughs up a golly and now he spits it into that bottle. And he's been doing that for about, what, two weeks now? Yeah. Oh, dude, please don't move it around like that. Honestly, I shouldn't have fucking got it over here. And uh, he re really wants me to smell it, you know, dude, for science. Can but you I please smell it for science? It is... So bad. Matt smelt it and he oh, never does shit like that. No, no. Of course I haven't smelt it yet, Matthew. <laughs> I'll have a whip and just... It's uh, so rough, dude. It's so rough. I, I'm, I'm very sensitive gaggy right now. Dude, it would be so good if you vomed. Let's do it. Oh, look at your face. Michael had a it's whiff. Actually, it's like... It's like poo. It smells like poo. No, it's... It's, it's a bottle of golly. It's, just it's, get into it. Hurry up. Oh, man. The, the sooner you do it, the sooner it's over. Get, like, it's not that bad. Oh, that is. It's different. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's so strange. <laughs> what a fucking, I'm not expecting that. I know. It's, it's so different. It's like biscuits or something. Yeah. But yeah, it's mm. it's because it was thicker, but now it's starting to like sort Separate. of break apart and shit. So should we have a sip. Time changes. I, I think this would kill you, dude. Honestly, like I think it's like fermented and become a poison. Sorry. Oh my god, this is so fucked. Anyway, this is what a little side experiment that Michael's got going on, and he's always got little side experiments like this like, going on. Remember that fly catcher we had, and we just let it fill with flies, and then the the f first flies we got in there died, and then the new flies got in there and would feast on the dead flies, lay the maggots, and then it was like this ecosystem. The old flies would die, the maggots would eat the dead flies, and then grow into normal flies. And it was full to the brim. It was quite interesting. Yeah, I do remember that. It's pretty sick, but yeah. You loved it. It was like oh, a yeah. little puppy. Well, it's like- um, You'd always uh, look at it. Each day you'd go out and have a look at it. fly concentration camp. Yeah. It was, yeah, the cannibalism. You know, it was a lawless little bowl. Lawless, no rules. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was. <laughs> anyway, moving right along to our first segment where you guys comment questions. All right. Keep them coming. We are loving. Dude, I fucking read all the comments. So does Michael. Jackson's had a good read of the ones from last week. We love reading them. They're the fucking best. If you can't support us in any other way, just drop a comment. All you have to do is just write the best. And click if, the like button. Why if not? If you can't think of anything to write. Yeah, and click. And if if you can be fucked, also just subscribe. Because then that tells YouTube, holy fuck, these guys are on or something. And you can't. Because it's starting to really pick up the podcast channel. And it's motivating, I'm telling you. And the more motivated we get, the more fucked up he gets. Yeah, I'll have a cum bottle. Oh. Imagine a cum bottle. Yeah, so if you can't support us in any other way, please just give the vid a thumbs up, subscribe, fucking drop a comment, and have a scroll through the comments. If you see any questions for the podcast, read them. If you like it, give it a like as well, because Matt reads out the questions with the most fucking likes. And there he is, Matthew Brown. Take a stand. Stand up, cunt. Stand up, cunt. Get up. Why? Matthew Brown! Matthew Brown! He's standing up! Sit down! All right. Hit us with some questions, B Dog. Oh. Um, you've thrown me way off now. <laughs> Your diary entry threw me off, cunt. Threw me off the fucking cliff. <laughs> Um, would you guys ever consider coming to South Africa? That's one of the... That's... Yeah, I guess. Yep. That was from JDM. Cheers, Jadem. I think we have a few South African people watch us because that got a fair few likes. Really? The South Africans like that you're fucking shitting yourself, cunt. Hmm. Um, Michael, uh, this is from Max Oxlong. Uh, Michael, would you ever explain your DMT experience in detail? I think I have half arsely on yeah. this podcast in previous seasons. You may have to go back through a few seasons but to find it. Basically, it's just you get told you are a fucking bag of shit. <laughs> I don't think that's the, for every. That's not every time. Last time we did it, you just went and saw the elves. Oh no, that was that was DMT. So I'm talking about salvia. Okay, yeah, the DMT trips. You go see the mechanical elves, and they're fuck. They don't. A lot of the time, they just sort of look at you and like, why the fuck are you here? But yeah, the salvia trip was more like Mother Gaia, fucking some feminine voice telling me that I've got to- Smarten up. Smarten up. (laughs) And he has. And he has smartened up. Now he's on a podcast. He shits himself. (laughs) Yeah, shit, dude. He has smartened right up. Yeah. But yeah. (laughs) And then the DMT trip though, I guess why that- Was that asked because I said that- Getting choked out is similar to a DMT. You've you've had a few comments around DMT. The, so. Getting choked yeah. out is like DMT without the colors. It's like a black room that you go into. Oh, mm. but like, and then time goes a lot longer in that realm than it does in real life. Mm. So when I got choked out, it felt like it weeks. Was, the first time it felt like I was in that black room for half an hour. Oh, last time it felt about two three minutes, but I was only gone for like realistically ten seconds. You was flopping around like that. Yeah. Mm. Um, next question is from Bree Firth. Uh, do you guys get recogniz- recognized every single time you go in public? And would you ever wish you could go back to being able to go out without being recognized? Yes and yes. Um, yesterday was fucked. Yeah, it's more. Sometimes it's more than others. If if we go to a place and get recognized, and and someone has the balls to come up and talk to us, other people see it and it gives them courage too. And then like, if usually if it's one person, it's like. 10 other people but sometimes you know we'll notice people just looking at us and no one says anything so it's hard to tell if we're getting recognized yeah but yesterday was literally we're at Chermside it was bang bang one after the other and it wasn't just like a quick photo it was like have a little chat how you doing Mm. and at dinner the other night someone made us watch them do a a taxi vortex yeah yeah fuck yesterday in general was just ringed with people coming up so much but yeah I reckon I wish it was like a button you could turn fame on and off. Well, you can. You've got a mask. You can slide it over your snout and you can't get seen by nothing, bro. Yeah, but I mean- yeah. But I've seen it out. I've seen some people can be a bit cringe and then other people seem to just be able to communicate yeah, very well. Yeah, but I think it's just like the, the, and it, and it the stress of fucking- You can never just be like- Especially in my car, dude. There's fucking coins. <laughs> Everywhere I go, it's just like a beacon. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> for attention. And like- 
Spe- like, oh, sometimes I just don't feel like it. And it's like, hey, dude. Every light you pull up to, hey, man. Same con- fucking, same conversation just over and over. <laughs> oh, why'd you do that? Oh, yeah. How just- much is on there? Yeah, I guess they're not fans. They're just people that are inquiring. The fans are no, always it is, it love. is nice. Like, because, mm. you know, it's like, it's like recognition for the videos. But that sometimes it is like, you just, you would be nice to just yeah, be Yeah, well, it is person. annoying that you can't switch it off. Like, but so we're very aware now when we go in public. It's not, yeah, it's going out in public is not the same now as it was two years ago it's mm. always a bit you're always a little bit more on edge but it's not it's not bad you know it comes with it but you just don't expect to feel like this before you make it yeah yeah you think fame's gonna be a lot different yeah, you think it's gonna be all fun and games but, but there's stalkers out there yeah and it's just like I don't know as once you become famous you can't unfamous yourself so. and it also it depends on how well like our videos are doing as well like if we got a viral video going nuts like it's crazy there'll be people coming to us all the time but since we have this reach restriction on Facebook <laughs> for another four months which by the way we're thinking about not even posting to our main Facebook page anymore because it's just fucking embarrassing now doesn't show it like the views are like Facebook doesn't so show it to low. anyone it's so fucked. So, but yeah. So since lately we've had haven't been getting many viral videos. It's like it's dies down a little bit as well. Um, next question is from Fly By Night. Oh, what would it take to shave or cut Michael's hair again? And Michael, would you let him? Also, had an, another question from someone else. Michael, would you ever cut your hair into a bowl cut? Oh, what? it's already like that at the moment. It's not a bowl cut. Oh no, it's just like a bowl cut with a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> a bullet. Yeah, I let a friend hack into it. Mullet. And now it's all like short at the front. Dude, long at the top. you should get a fucking mullet. I've Mullet's got a in. mullet. The mullet. No, you like shave the sides yeah, of your head. Dude, nah. Oh, man, that'd be the sickest. Or if you did shave your head, you got enough facial hair now. I think it wouldn't be that bad. You're old now. It's fine. I'm old. Yeah, I, my, my time is fucking done. Yeah, we're getting close to the finish line. Can't no, we're not. We've got 10 more years. <laughs> 10 more years that's not long at all <laughs> that's better than nothing um but, yeah uh, hair haircut what the fuck haircut question? man yeah, haircut. No, but you would, I would never get a bowl cut fucking uh, it, I'd have to do it <laughs> even I'd have I've to got do a half ass one right now I'd have to do it on the sly he'd never let me shave his head willingly but I've been touching this <sighs> it's been in my anus but um yeah I don't know who knows I might fucking snap and just pour a bucket of fucking hot wax in his hair like he did to me one day can't let his fuck count <laughs> next question is from Jaden Milton um Marty how oh how do I make the vape hit me quicker as in the vapes that you guys sell turn, turn the temperature up all the way to the so you you click it in you, ho- you hold it in and wait for the little colors to go red and then you press it once and it'll get to hotter and you press it again, hotter, hotter. So there's four levels of heat and you get it till it's all four things are red and then you hold it down again and that confirms that that's the temperature and then the smoke comes quicker because it's fucking burning it properly. Mm. Those fucking vapes are fucking sick. Dude, I'm loving and it. And we're selling them, by the way, on uh, Marty and what's the website? Cutting www.cutn.com.au you can get the vapes that we have and they're fucking sick <laughs> yeah can I have one right now Matthew yeah thank you baby thank you my baby I was your favorite Lisa photo and then I got high mm-hmm. here comes Matt Brown everyone show him your hat come here come here you little fucking there look he's on camera he's on camera <laughs> He's so cute. Wearing his little visor that he has to wear at work. He has to wear that, they said. So it's so simple, guys. You literally just open it up, put whatever herb. Or oil. In. There's or an oil, oil thing as well. Yeah. And you click it. Just push it once lights on Lights up. And then like in 15 seconds, I'll be able to suck that. Yeah. Once it goes green, it does a little vibrate. I'm ready. I wish it said that. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Imagine that. Feed <laughs> me carrots. Uh, next question is from JJ Hamilton. Um, how tall are you guys? Like 190 s- centimeters. Yeah, I'm like one, just a bit taller, 192 or something. So like 6'3", six, 6'3", three. Six, three for those fucking Americans. Are we 6'3"? Is that what that means? Yeah, yeah. I always said 6'2". Fuck yeah. All right, one more. Cool. Another one. Another. DJ! Did you just shit, cunt? No, it was the chair. <laughs> See? Sorry. Uh, next question is from Jack Collier. Um, who is the stronger out of the both of you? Oh, well, Man. I'm heavier. So it's it's not really... A, it's like asking a dwarf. Can we say dwarf? Uh, f- I'm going to say it. Dwarf. 
All right. That's what you are. You're small. Um, he did suggest you could have an arm wrestle on the podcast if you couldn't agree on who's stronger. He's stronger. Like, I'm getting stronger. Yeah, yeah. Michael's fucking. We've been but hitting it. Fuck, man. He is just. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not like insanely strong. I'm just stronger than Michael. Yeah, he's stronger than me. So that's like insanely strong to me. <laughs> Cling, cling, cling. There's, f- there's skin on the table. There should be a cup of skin. There's golly. There's shit on the chair. Oh, yeah. This Thank podcast you. is so fucked up. You, baby. Oh, do you not right. do you not blow in? I go and close my eyes. Oh, well, like this. Yeah. It says not to do that on the instructions. I don't do that. Now you've put moisture in it. Um, cu- <laughs> you are a fuckhead, man. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no, I do do that. I lied about both things. Okay. This is just... um Weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't worry, guys. Next question is from uh, Service Ace of Diamonds. I doubt that. Um, question of the podcast. Is 26 too young for a guy to be a virgin? What do you reckon is the reasonable maximum age to have your V card? Up to you, man. Yeah, like everyone's different. Everyone reaches their sexual maturity at different levels, cunt. There are some cunts who are fucking in fucking when they're 10 years old. I've seen a little kid got fucking going nuts on some 18-year-old bird outside a nightclub. A little fucking 10-year-old boy fucking fucking an 18-year-old. Yeah, but you were you were young. Well, I was 10. Yeah, so it's okay for you to watch. But um, yeah, it's it varies. If you're if you still fuck if you, fucking still scares the shit out of you, yeah, don't you're not ready. Be, don't don't force it. Yeah, do, don't pressure fuck yourself just because thinks. society says you got to fuck by like what 12, 11. Yeah, like you can just wait till 30, 40. Wait till you find a chick you like. The older you get, the ma- more the bigger your load will be when you eventually do save it up. Stick your fick up a law. Be like this. Oh yeah, big chunky mincemeat, Matt. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Just wait for the right person, yeah, girl, t- boy, animal, and just see what happens. Don't fucking force yourself. And try it. You know, cows are very. They don't judge. Well, they can't judge, and they can't tell other people about your performance. So if you you want to sort of scrub up on your skills, get a cow and pull its cheeks apart and thumb it in, cut. Next question practice. is from Beer Bows. Um, is it boring always being the best? No. <laughs> so, well, sometimes we miss a challenge because we are so perfect at everything. It's like, oh, yeah, we'll do this again and we'll do it perfectly. But it's, it's not boring. It's just like it, it's is, just like it drags out sometimes. It, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We did a TikTok the other day drinking soda water and trying not to burp. And Michael like threw up at the end of it, posted it to TikTok. It's like, it's not even funny. Like I watched it and I was like, oh yeah, whatever. I'll just quickly post it. It's like, it's shit. I don't get like how it's working these days now. And it's on 2.3 million views with 235,000 likes. How? We changed the world. Next Next question is from from James James Kirkpatrick. Um, Michael, Marty, what did your family think when they saw you guys on the billboards? Oh, they didn't see it. Yeah, I don't even know if my mum saw it. She lives in Brisbane. Like, I don't know. I don't. I, I never spoke to her about it. Yeah, I don't know if they know about that either. So, um, I, and I, your mum would probably just like glance up and start politely laughing, and then walk away and just sort of pretend like. Tschüss, tschüssi. Auf Wiedersehen, Martin. Haha, da bist du ja. Auf dem Billboard, hä? Was willst du mal Abbrot haben? Wenn wir Brot haben? Zuckernudeln, hä? No! Until German segment. Next question is from Kyle no. I. I think, or L. Oh. Um, how bad did each of your breaths stink after the corn? Oh, the shit corn. No, we, it wasn't like fine. I, well, I only had a piece. Yeah. Oh, it was fine. It was, as I said, it's like corn that someone's farted on. <laughs> Eating real shit. Well, your breath would probably be shit for a while. Like I remember with the dog shit. Oh, man. I remember that too. You I swallowed burped. a piece of dog shit. But I remember I burped. Oh. And 
all the scent would come up. Oh and my throat. god! Yeah, that and fucks with me. Literally, have shit breath. It was oh. so fucked. So every time you burped was oh the worst. Oh my god! You and it was for like hours after, man. Dog shit, fresh dog shit, straight out of a dog's asshole. When we first started, that's how desperate we were. We, we had no choice. We had to get views or be homeless. Those were the options. Matthew yeah, fucking fuck, Brown. Have much. All right. All right. Some cunt asked <laughs> fucking Matt's lost it, but he wanted to know what's our biggest loss in gambling. Um, and uh, I, we've had, <laughs> we've had some, we're not big gamblers, but um, Michael, whilst I was pissed, pissed as fuck, it would challenge Jade and Shami's little brother to a game of table tennis and um, put five grand on the line and lost it. Yeah, I really regretted that. Imagine that in Bitcoin now, cunt. You'd be fucking screaming, cunt. <laughs> at least it was like not to the casino it was to a mate yeah but we, like, we and Jaden needed the money too yeah at so, that time so you're helping a poor for his orphan hair. yeah I'm helping a poor Prasad out yeah um, and you know we go to the casino we maybe spend like 500 bucks once every six months or something but we've never won anything big I've never fucking had a big win anyway. I think the biggest win I've had was on the pokies and I won like 400 or 450 dollars yeah see that's off shit off a 5 dollar bet first 5 dollar bet bang Four hundred dollars. It's cute, but like, yeah, you hear about people winning like twenty k on the, even on the pokies. That's like that's at least that's twenty k. That's that's like twenty thousand. That's like twenty thousand dollars, roughly. How much? Twenty k. It's in there. Hmm. But uh, yeah, you never ever have a friend that gets that, or you never do it yourself. Everyone else does. Everyone else has a friend that's done it. We don't for some reason, Matt. You're well, always none winning of our friends pokies. fucking gamble. Matt's always winning at the pokies. Yeah, Why don't you get? Me. Actually, you do win a little bit. A little bit. Anyways, anyway, moving Matt's on. Matt's probably up in his whole life. Next question is from G O. Go. Have you guys ever tried? <coughs> um, might pronounce this wrong. Gencom. How to spell it? J E N K U M. Gencom. Um, yeah, I actually had to Google it to find out what it was. And what is it? A It's a small Asian box of miscellaneous objects used for hair braiding. It is an inhalant and hallucinogen created from fermented human waste. Oh, oh my God. We're doing it. We're going to do it live on the podcast tomorrow. So, what do you do? You shit in a bag. Can you get high off this? <laughs> oh, here we go. Reportedly, you put the feces and urine in a jar or a bucket and seal it with a balloon or lid. Then leave okay. it out to ferment in the sun. Afterwards, oh. they would inhale the fumes created. In the balloon. Man, that it, what the fuck? Dude, How what we, happens? Is this bad for you? If this isn't bad for you, we'll do it. We'll have to look into it. It sounds quite healthy. Uh, because it became a popular recreational drug in middle high schools across the country. What? It became popular in high schools. Fucking high schools oh. sh shitting in bags and letting it fucking bubble up and then... <gasps> Oh, yeah, it does. It'd be like that. Oh, yeah, you should sit that outside and ferment it, you golly jar. Yeah, well, no one's probably ever done that. A golly jar. <laughs> Fucking, you, 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 you like, get high off that, you see God. Oh, yeah, you become God. <laughs> oh, I'm adding that. God's what? just golly jar fumes. Yeah, put it on the list. The effects last for around an hour. Oh, and consist my God. Of Auditory and visual hallucinations for oh, some users. I don't know about that. I don't want to fucking trip balls <laughs> off shit. All right, mm. but we'll give it a go. We'll write it down. What's it called again? Gen cum. We'll have to make sure that you can't like OD on it because your shit would be very, very potent. Mm. Man, you can get fucking hallucinate off your own fucking shit. And it's probably you're because you shit out DMT and fucking. You gotta you know. let it ferment in the sun though. Yeah. Like with all good things. Uh, time for our next segment. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Sing it with me. Ach, ach du lieber, lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, 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 Deutsch. Deutsch. And this is a segment where I read out common German phrases, right? As if I'm like communicating with like another fucking kraut in front of me, right? So two krauts talking. This is what it sounds what, like. What's a kraut? It's a German. Why is a kraut a German? When did that Sau happen? Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. It's a nickname. Kraut. Oh my god. Okay. Is that where the name comes from? I remember Kraut. I used to say it in the yeah. in the wars. Yeah. I used to have to. I used to be force fed sauerkraut as a boy, and it is fucking disgusting. Would you, would you eat it now or you hate it? No, now? I'd eat it now for sure. 
<laughs> Put it on everything. Then yeah. how, why is why is it? This is a very intense flavour for a little German boy. Uh, it's very uh, la, 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 la. yeah. It's a okay. fermented <laughs> cabbage cunt. Ach du lieber, scheiße nein, Mama, nein bitte, oh, das tut weh, Mama. <laughs> and that's sauerkraut. <laughs> fucking sauerkraut. Okay, here we fucking go. <clears throat> All right. So this is what you would say to someone after they've given you some uh, pretty bad news. Ich sehe schwarz für dich. Ich sehe schwarz für dich. Oh nein! Ich sehe schwarz für dich. Which means I see black for you. Which means it's hopeless for you. <clears throat> wow, that's yeah, that dark. makes sense. I see black. It's <laughs> there, schwarz for dich. The ending sounds like it's Irish or Scottish. It's a popular. That sentence is in a popular um, children's rhyme as well. Listen to the ending. Say it again. Ich sehe schwarz für dich. Für dich. Für dich. It sounds like it's from Scotland. Für dich. Für dich. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, next one. <sighs> Fuck me. <sighs> Don't ruin them. Nikki will be mad. Mm, she got cranky. All right, this is a great one. Okay. This was said by our president. We don't. Richard Nixon. The German president. Oh. oh. What, do you have presidents there? Hell yeah, baby. Who's he? Daryl Braithwaite. I, feel, I don't know who it is now, but it used to be David Hasselhoff. And okay. he would say, <laughs> Du weiß I! Du weiß I! Du weiß I! Du weiß I! Which means, you soft egg. <laughs> David Hasselhoff. Which means, you David pussy, Richard. you fucking soft pussy. That's what that means. And that is also in very common in children's rhymes. <laughs> Do vice I! <laughs> Do vice I! Protect our country! Protect the motherland! <laughs> Do vice I! Fucking. <laughs> Can you explain what David Hasselhoff in Germany, why that is? Dude. No one knows. I think you no, should. I know. Google it. Didn't he sing yeah, in he Germany? Sang he German was song. a massive Hit. music artist in Germany, mm. and of course, trust the Germans to think that David Hasselhoff is good at music. He's he is a talented guy. <laughs> Have you listened to the song? So he actually sings in German. Yeah, yeah, he does. And the motherland thanks him for it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, Hasselhoff. <laughs> mm, David Hasselhoff. <laughs> he was the president. He was the president and he would say things like, Du weiß I? All right. Last one that he would say. Now you've already passed me it. Oh, okay. I'm too fucking high. Here we go. This one, um, <laughs> I, I haven't heard this one before. It's nice and short and sweet. Um, Nichts für ungut. Nichts für ungut. Nichts für ungut. 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 Nichts fit. Do the first part. Nichts für ungut. Which means. That hurt to say. No, it's very soothing. <laughs> Relaxing. Which means nothing for ungood. Which means no offense. Hey, hey, nichts für ungut. But Africans need to stop complaining now that we solved it. Nichts für ungut. <laughs> you see what happened there? Matt, what's wrong? Nothing. Usually if I repeat the same phrase at least three or four times, I get a little giggle from Mr. Brown. What's I was on? actually a bit distracted. I was Googling David Hasselhoff and his German. Yeah, it's a fun rabbit hole to go down. Oh, yeah, dude. Amazing. I can't believe that he was the president and that you guys fucking think he is the shit at singing. Yeah, I would have followed him into World War Three if you wanted. And that <laughs> offer still stands, David, if you listen, which you don't since you hate me. Anyway. 
It's another story. Oh, like you know him? Oh. Oh. You even know the story. Anyway, anyway, it's a long time ago. Oh. Quick right. hunt. Just a quick update on hunt. <laughs> oh! Um, you know what? I went a message. Um, fucking David Hasselhoff. I can't get him out of my mind. Man. Oh, Should we do that? Oh, 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 oh. Should we drop Husey Dude. and go for David Hasselhoff? Maybe. I think I have to. It's and a just sign. say you're a big fan of uh, his German son. What's Husey's first name? Dave. It's a sign. Think about it. D H David Hughes. Look, we already follow David him. Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff. Because I, I know him. Bullshit, we already followed him. Hey, Dave. It's Marty. <laughs> I know it's been a while. Fuck. What do you reckon are the chances he'll reply? Oh, well, I can, how many followers does he have? If he still has the same mobile number from eight years ago, like I could try and text him. But yeah, it's, you know, if you're that famous, <laughs> you, you sort of need to change phone numbers every now and then. Hasselhoff. 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 All right. P.O. Hasselhoff. Oh, yeah. That's the name of this segment now. Oh, yeah. We've got two letters here. We've got some. Do we have some packages in the mail? Yeah, but they're in the P.O. box. Yeah, so we have packages in the mail. So next week we're going to get into your P.O. boxes for those who have sent shit through. And keep sending it with fucking... This is like fucking Christmas time, cunt. It's like fucking Christmas time. All right. All right, we're going to read two letters that have been sent in today. Okay? Marty and Michael, here we go. Well, this has been very uh, securely sealed. Makes me wonder if maybe oh, there's something shit. in here. It's always a bit nerve wracking opening. Oh yeah, I didn't think about it that time but because yeah. um, you know our fans do send us dead skin and cum and shit. Man, that's and tampons and toenails. What the fuck? See, man? This worries me, dude. This is what I worry about. This is just <laughs> child's writing. If they are watching the podcast, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Like. <laughs> This is scribble. Oh, oh, man. You think you got it bad. You should see my letter. <laughs> it's like coding. It's just- Mine's like, what is it stuck Oh, in? shit. It's like a letter from the Zodiac. Oh, shit. It is. Oh, no. Uh, it's a big coded thing. Oh, my God. It's like the Zodiac has sent us a fucking letter. Oh, that's not Except good. they sent you uh, the- It's probably got a tracking beacon on it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Hasselhoff, oh my god, this is an intense picture. I don't know if we should, it can even show this. It could be classified could be hate, as hate speech, speech or something. So he sent us a uh, old picture of um, Hitler doing this, which we don't condone. Okay, Hitler was a bad, bad man. Yeah, unfortunately, we will get taken down for that. I can't show that to you guys, but it's what that's what the picture is. And uh, David Hasselhoff is a true. He's born the true leader, president, and he does. You don't need to resort to such things as genocide. Okay. Hitler went too far. Hasselhoff knows what he's doing. Hasselhoff went just the right distance. And okay, so, All right, so should this, we decode this? It's, it'll, this will take fucking hours. Anyway, we'll read the little letter. Hey, Marty and Michael, please use the alphabet letter codes to solve the keyword letter to see what it says of the actual that I wrote to use. Have fun. P.S. Use spare paper to write out the letter. All right, well, look, we don't want to spend the next 15 minutes doing this. But we will do this after the podcast, yeah. okay? And we will read it for you next week. All right, everyone? How's that? And can you read this one? Yeah, sure. I can have a go reading this child's letter. Can you read it, Michael? Oh, I just, I'm too like high right now. Oh, sorry. Wow. You are the most fucking funny person ever. If you see Julian, get Marty or you to punch him in the nuts or scare him. You and... Marty are the fucking best. I seen a video of you playing a guitar. I love music too. I sing and Marty sang like by Shannon Knoll. That's that's one of the good songs. You and Marty, really great voices. So I'll hope I'll hear from you and M- Marys, you and Marty soon. So keep up the good work and I'm sorry I put my phone number is when. That's I'm not from Haley. And she's drawn wow. a picture. So it's a girl. Did not expect that. She lives in Melbourne, so she'll be in lockdown now. Shout out to Melbourne. Haley, thank you so much. I can't believe that you think we're cool, but 
Yeah, so she's drawn a little picture of herself and then me and Michael on either side of her. And Michael is obviously the fucking stick shit little fucking thing with a little fucking Don't ruin her letter. So thank you for that, Haley. You, uh... You got a love heart next to you too. Yeah, well, remember that letter that I got that one week? I'm pretty sure it was from the same person. Ah, yeah. And now you've got one too. But, um... Thank yeah, you, we'll, Haley. We'll decode this later, all right? We should get a live studio audience in here tomorrow. We should have an animal. A Bosley. Yeah. Yep. We should lay Bosley out. Oh, he wouldn't stay on the table. No, he would never stay on the table. He'd be, as soon as I put him on here, he'd be looking to get off. Oh. Should we do a live studio audience for the last episode? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah. We'll, Something to think about. If you figure it out. We just need to hire a space, I guess. Yeah, I know a couple you of spaces. You can transport all that and we just hire a ute. Oh, yeah. Well, this will be easy. It'll just be setting it up to go live and record at the same time. You've heard it here first. Matt's going to do if it. If you live in Brisbane, if you listen to this podcast regularly and live in Brisbane and would rock up to a live podcast in yeah so it'll be a live viewing of the podcast and we're recording it with a with a live studio audience comment below because we want to get an idea of what type of people in brisbane actually would rock up because we don't fucking know if we don't want to set this up and then five people rock up with fucking dead skin and cum <laughs> fucking jar of shit and fucking michael's standing there having a fucking smoke with smoke of pubes with a cunt <laughs> And just Michael has to shit himself and yeah, well, fuck Marty's me. farting oh, everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so just let us know if you're from Brizzy. Just comment below and let us know. Michael loves abrupt noises. <laughs> abrupt sounds and fart. <laughs> oh. All right, for today's prank call, Margaret. Remember Margaret? Yeah, what's she talk like again? You'll see. Okay. You'll see. She wants to hire a babysitter for her 14 year old son, but he's With got a, a disability? He's got a few issues. All right. What? Oh, you will find out in the phone. Yeah, you'll find out. Okay. Yeah. What's the son's name at least? Bront. Bront? What Bront. about Bronson from Around the Twist? Or oh, Bronson from funny? Bronson. Or Bront. If you like Bront, you go with whatever you feel. Well, that just came into my head. So, I think that that's what his name is. Bront. 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 It's Bront. Yeah, Bront. no one's... This should be like, sorry, what's that? Bront. 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 That's Mount. a name you ask a second time. How do you spell time. that? B-R-O-N-T-T. <laughs> I wish you said TV. <laughs> <laughs> Silent V. <laughs> yeah. We can still do that if you guys want. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, just call him like fucking Eastern German or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh. oh. German got to do with it. <laughs> What's German got to do with it's it? Everything Has everything. <laughs> Thank you for calling. This is Candy. Oh, good day, Candy. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Um, look, I'm just after some. Um, we've just moved to Brisbane, North Brisbane. I'm just after some uh, potential daycare. What's the oldest uh, child that you guys have at that daycare? Um, so we don't offer before and after school care. So our oldest child would be five. Right, so what, I have an 11 year old, would that be too old or? Um, look at the moment, I'm just sort of after, I'm a bit desperate, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of just after some temporary sort of a daycare until I can find a more permanent solution. So it would only be, um, you know, I, I drop him off on a Monday, uh, maybe 6.30 so I can go to work, I finish it about midday um, and then I'll be able to come pick him up and then it sort of fits in and if he socialises well with the other children and sort of gets on, um, maybe it could be uh, just over the next few weeks he could come in um, occasionally if there's availability, of course. Um, can, and I, um, can I please, just given his age, yeah. I just really need to check um, if I am able to provide care because we don't provide before and after school care. You know, it's not 
um, we're a long day care right. centre, so we we provide care from six weeks. Yeah, so he, he's he's quite underdeveloped. Age. He's quite underdeveloped and quite tiny, and uh, intellectually, like I said, yeah, he's quite a few years behind. So he can barely sort of talk and stuff like that. And he plays he plays fairly well. So just bear that in mind as well. He's he's his age may be higher, but intellectually and physically, he's actually quite um you know quite young still. So just bear that in mind. Okay. Could I, would you mind if I take your contact details and can I can I just check with our proof provider and can I give you a yeah. quick call back tomorrow? Is that okay? That that is no worries at all. Before you I get just, back, I to, won't be able to get onto her this afternoon. Yeah, so yeah, that's totally um, fine. Look, I totally understand. Busy, busy, aren't we all? <laughs> Listen, um, um, before you. Okay. So your contact number is. So my my number is zero four zero five. Yes. One two nine seven. Yes. Sorry, it's a new number here. Three eight. Zero four zero five one two nine seven. Three five. Three five. And I'm sorry. What was your name again? So my name is Margaret. Margaret. And Margaret, your child's name was. Bront. B R O N T. Bront. Um. Okay. All right. I will speak to our proof provider. I just want to triple check, um, you know, just our legislation and requirements right. around <laughs> the age of children because unfortunately sometimes we we do have to work in age parameters. Yeah, not I totally understand. Now, listen, listen, before you... Um, before you, I will give you a call back in the morning once I'm more confident but, of what we're able to offer. No, that's great. Listen, before you go, do you mind just jotting down some notes? Just, just you, you may as well, because there are, there are, since he's special needs, he just does have a few requirements so you may as well ask uh, while while you're talking to the person making the decision let them know that there are a few things that you know if he is able to be accepted into your daycare that that uh, just a few things to be wary of so I'll, I'll just I'll just let you know some of his behaviors and, and just see just see if that's okay and if you guys have the facilities to deal with that if, if you don't mind Okay. So he's, he's, yeah, like I mentioned, he's quite small um, and he's heavily autistic. It's uh, quite a deep, deep autism, uh, straight straight down to the brain stem. And, and he's sort of, um, he'll sit in the corner and uh, rock, um, rock around. And um, while he's rocking, he prefers not to be touched. So sort of not, not on the head anyway. So if, if uh, any of the other children sort of, um, you know, wander too close to him, he may lash out. He's done it twice. Okay. He's done it twice. I'm not saying that it's guaranteed, but I'm saying that he may, okay? He may lash out if the children get too close. So he rocks backwards and forwards. That's one thing. He's also, um, he, he also urinates quite frequently. So he's got a, a bit of a bladder problem. Um, he, he does wear nappies, but um, he doesn't like them. So sometimes if he does wee himself, sort of during the day, he may rip his nappy off and uh, fling it against the wall. Yeah, he's done that a few times. So yeah, just a few things to be wary of there. And uh, one last thing, um, he doesn't really like uh, sharing food or toys. So if he's uh, playing with food or playing with toys, it's best to leave him be. Yeah, he can be quite uh, bitey. I've seen him bite a few times when I've gone to clear the plate from under his little face. So yeah, just 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 I, th I thought that would be worth mentioning, just in case he gets approved and and uh, and and you know he rocks up on Monday and, and he's all over the joint and he's just behaving completely insane. Shitting everywhere. Okay. Yeah. So so worth mentioning. Thank you. I've jotted those notes down, and then um, yeah, I will I will give you a call back tomorrow morning. Great, that sounds that sounds great. So I'll wait to hear from you tomorrow morning. Do you know roughly what time you'll be calling? Um, no, I'm not sure. It will just depend when I'm able to speak with her. Okay, great. So I'll be at I'll be at work from 9 a.m. till about 11. But after that, I should be able to answer my phone! Thank you. Bye. No worries. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> oh, Margaret is such a bitch. <laughs> Fucking Margaret, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking Margaret, dude. Oh. 
Margaret is a selfish cow. I hate her, eh? Like, she is is such... Selfish selfish woman, isn't she? Oh, that's tough to sit through. Yeah, no, she is quite selfish, uh, yeah. Oh man, she yeah, fucking just flips her switch, doesn't she? Well, she she has she doesn't know how to regulate the volume of her voice, man. That's what it is. Yeah, okay. Fuck. Oh. She took that well, that lady. <laughs> she got a bit put off at the end, though. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of our episode number sixteen. Um, don't forget to um, you know. Basically, just be nice to everyone and, um, yeah, just put your seatbelts on when you're driving. Actually, there have been occasions when people have wore seatbelts and died because of wearing the seatbelt. All right. Seatbelt's optional. All right. Wear the best, wear the best, wear the motherfucking best, wear the best, wear the best, wear the best, wear the best, right by the nuts, wear the best, cunt. <laughs>